Korea fires two ballistic missiles into Sea of Japan. North Korea has fired two ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan, says the US and Japan, the first such test since Joe Biden became US president. Pyongyang is banned from testing ballistic missiles, considered threatening weapons, under UN Security Council resolutions. Both Japan and South Korea have both condemned the test. It comes just days after North Korea reportedly fired two non-ballistic missiles into the Yellow Sea. Japan said no debris had fallen within its territorial waters. The U.S. Pacific Command, which oversees military forces in the Asia-Pacific region, said on Thursday that the test highlighted the threat that North Korea's illicit weapons program poses to its neighbors and the international community. Mr. Biden is yet to officially comment. On Tuesday, he played down a non-ballistic missile launch which took place over the weekend, saying the U.S. did not consider it a provocation. Those short-range missiles were thought to be either artillery or cruise missiles, which are not banned under the UN Security Council resolutions on North Korea. Thursday's test also comes days after the US received its first North Korean in custody after Mun Kilmyung was extradited from Malaysia. Mr Mun is a businessman accused of laundering money through the US financial system to provide luxury items to North Korea. The incident angered North Korea so much it cut off diplomatic ties with Malaysia. This is a bigger deal for the US and its allies. The test at the weekend of either artillery or cruise missiles can be shrugged off. But this ballistic missile test is a clear violation of United Nations security sanctions. Having said that, Mr Biden's predecessor Donald Trump did wave off any questions regarding similar weapons tests in 2019. The deal between Mr Trump and Kim Jong-un reached in Singapore in 2018 was that Pyongyang would not test long-range ballistic missiles or nuclear weapons. At that time, the White House did not concern itself with smaller tests. But Mr. Biden's team is just back from Japan and South Korea, and promised that America was back and supporting its allies. Perhaps then, the administration will have to say something about a weapons test which threatens its friends in Northeast Asia. Washington will also be aware that Pyongyang has bigger weapons in its arsenal which it has not tested since late 2017. North Korea has spent more than a year in isolation. It even cut off most trade with its closest ally China amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, and its economy is thought to be in a dire state. Now that the weapons tests appear to be making a return, many are wondering just how far is Kim Jong unwilling to go to get the attention of the White House. Japanese officials said North Korea